Okay, so in this question we have a cylindrical container and the, I haven't drawn that very well, but the radius at the end is R and this, the length of the cylinder is Y. Okay, and we told the total of the circumference of the circular end and the length of the cylinder, so if we add those two together, we get 120. So we know that, and um, what's circumference? Circumference is 2 pi r plus y equals 120. Okay, now we need to maximize, find the values of r and y that will maximize the capacity of the container. So I like to look at how are we going to work through this. So we know that whenever we get maximize or minimize, we're going to find a function and find the first derivative. So in this case, the capacity of the container, so let's call that c. So we're going to get some function c in terms of r or y. Uh, let's just say r, it actually doesn't matter which one, but we get some function c in terms of r. We're going to differentiate it, we're going to set that to zero, and then solve, and we're going to get some values for r and some values for y. Whoops, not zero. Some value for r, some value for y. And then capacity. Actually, we don't have to calculate the capacity, so we don't actually need to plug those numbers back in. Okay, so we don't need to do that step. So, we have to find a function for the capacity. So let's, knowing that we're going to do all these steps here to get to that point, let's figure out what the capacity is. So the capacity is the volume. So the volume is the uh, area times the, the length. So it's pi r squared times y. Okay, now that's what we need to differentiate. But we can't do it at the moment because we've got two variables in there. Uh, but we do know this fact here. So based on that, we can say that y equals 120 minus 2 pi r. And then we can substitute that into that function there. So the capacity is pi r squared times 120 minus 2 pi r. Okay, now I think it's just easy enough to multiply it. We could use the product rule here, but I think it's just easy enough to multiply these out because it's pretty easy. 120 pi r squared minus 2 pi squared r cubed. Okay, now don't get confused about the pi squared in here and with the, when we differentiate that. Remember, pi is just a number, so pi squared is another number. So 120 pi is a constant, 2 pi squared is a constant. So when we differentiate it, we're going to get, bring the power up the front, so 240 pi, r squared becomes r to the 1. And then bring the power at the front, so that's 6 pi squared, r cubed becomes r squared. Okay, we didn't do anything with the pi squared. It just stays there because it's a constant. Okay, now we're going to set that to zero. So, what have we got? 240 pi r minus 6 pi squared r squared equals zero. Okay, what can we do? Divide both sides by 6 and divide, we can divide by 6 pi, can't we? Okay, so the pi is cancelled there. That becomes 40 r. 6 in the pi, 6 in one of the pi's, take pi r squared equals 0, bringing the r out the front, r times 40 minus pi r equals 0. Okay, therefore r equals 0 or r equals 40 over pi. Now, r equals 0, what does that mean? That the radius is 0, and uh, therefore the capacity of the volume is zero. So that's a minimum. So r equals zero is a correct answer for one of the um, optimized values, but it just happens to be the minimum, so we can ignore that one. And the one that we're looking for is this one here, r equals 40 over pi. And then all we need to do is substitute that back in here. So y equals 120 minus 2 pi times 40 over pi. Pi is cancel. Uh, 120 minus 80 is 40. Okay, so there are answers. R equals 40 over pi, y equals 40. Uh, and if we want to figure out the capacity, we can plug it back into this function here, but we weren't asked to do that, so we, don't, we can just stop right here.